Hope still being hot in the pants, y'all. Thinking about Finn. Meanwhile, some lady is watching Ridge and Brute. Do y'all think that's Taylor? But hey, y'all, welcome back to another review with Life with Chester for the Bold and Beautiful August 5th, 2024. Okay, y'all, so first things first, let me know down below what y'all thought of the episode. Secondly, has anybody heard anything about Taylor returning? I know that they said the lady that was playing her, they, that she's been replaced or fired or something like that. So I don't know who the new person is. Okay, y'all, so we're going to start with Hope, Ridge, and whoever the mystery lady is. So, of course, they started the little press conference and everything. I thought, look, when they start, when they dropped the video and they showed everybody looking, I thought it was like, you know how on certain shows and movies they show an interruption, like somebody take over their little video or whatever? That's what I thought was going to happen. Because the way they were showing it, I was like, something going to happen. Especially since Steffi had said something was going to go wrong. Spoiler alert, I just seen the spoiler. And it said that um, the website crashes. Now, when I read it, I was like, okay, is that a good or bad thing? Because it could be a good thing because everybody's trying to buy it one time. Or it could be a bad thing and somebody mess with it. But they said they're supposed to celebrate. Ridge and Brooke's supposed to celebrate. They said something about a mystery woman. They don't reveal who it is in the spoilers, though, y'all. They also say that Hope and Brooke, not Hope and Brooke, Hope and Steph is supposed to get into it again. They're supposed to argue before they find out, you know, the results. I said, okay, if they do argue, they, the only thing they need to be arguing about right now is Hope putting the moves on her husband. He need to go ahead and tell her standing up there like he don't know Dilly freaking squat. <laughs> I always said it. He just be standing there. Like, tell her. Look, they supposed to argue, though. Okay, so back to Ridge and Brooke. You know, they gave their little speech or whatever, and then that's when they dropped the video. And at the end of the episode, that's when they showed some lady. It looked like she had on the hood or something. It looked like she had what, what color hair? I want to say burgundy, brownish looking. I don't know. <laughs> But they didn't show her face. Do y'all think that's going to be Taylor or somebody else from Ridge and Brooke Pass? Because they obviously watch it now. But okay, who we going to next? Who we going to next? Before I forget, Luna and Poppy. Luna and Poppy, because she done told this girl. I said, okay, you don't know how I got there. You don't know how I got there. She was like, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. I said, that make you look guilty. That make you look guilty. But if you didn't do it, then who put it in your doggone uh, room? I said, they could just look at the uh, video. If they, I always said the same thing. I said, do they got video? Because if they got video, then boom. That proves who trying to set her up if she didn't do it. But Luna was questioning her about the backpack, the letter. She's saying, Bill is your father. Bill is your father. I don't know how the backpack got there. But she wants her to keep it a secret. I said, keep it a secret? Don't you know secrets always get exposed? What you talking about? What you talking about? But Luna, do y'all think she's going to do it? More than likely. But they said, oh, spoiler alert. Another spoiler alert. They said that Katie's supposed to find out some information that she been wanting to know. And I said, oh, Lord. Expect the gadget back at it, y'all. But like I said on Friday's review, I said, I'm even more confused now. Because she over here, of course, they ain't going to just say, yeah, I did it. <laughs> Sometimes they do say I did it, though. <laughs> but I said, now nah, she didn't do it. Who trying to set her up? And I was like, why would they set her up? I said, well, they must have went in their backpack and knew about the letters or something. I don't know, y'all, at this point. They don't say nothing about it's supposed to get exposed. They just said Katie supposed to find out some information she's been trying to know. They also say that Katie, Deacon, and Sheila supposed to try to figure out what happened to Hollis and Thomas. Not Thomas, Tom. Tom. But they don't say if they're supposed to do it together or not. Then we got Finn, Steffi, Katie, Carter, Zenday, and Hope hiding as hell, he himself. <laughs> <laughs> look so they always you know waiting for the little video to drop so they could watch it and see you know the results see if anybody purchased anything and hope went over there and she started having headaches again she was just fantasizing about finn coming to massage her and check on her and all this other stuff touch her then they were just kissing and i said when it got to that part i knew he wasn't there now when he started to take his hands and go upwards on her shoulder said, yeah she fantasizing again she fantasizing again and katie ends up walking in and interrupting her but I was like, look, get it together. I said, it's time for this to be exposed. Because, no, nah, you don't put no moves on this lady husband and get away with it. But everybody was just standing around talking about the success that's going to happen from Brooke's bedroom line drop. And Steffi, the only one that <laughs> Steffi just be staring there. She just be standing there making faces and stuff. Uh, who was that? Katie was like, everybody loves Brooke Logan. Then they showed Steffi. And Finn looked at Steffi and Hope looked at Steffi. I said, self Steffi, self Steffi. Also, this week, another spoiler alert. Well, y'all probably seen it on Friday's episode. Katie's supposed to be talking to Bill and said basically she's worried about him. He could be in danger and everything. She's supposed to be telling him or warning him. I said, I wonder if that's the point where he's going to be like, you overstepping, you need to stay in your lane. 
But yeah, y'all, that's all that happened. So let me know down below what y'all thought of the episode. Stay tuned for the next review. Until next time, this is how you girl. It's the day and be safe.